بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب زبنی علم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss the important concepts of arithmetic progression with examples. For this lecture, I am using the work of one of my best students, Ms. Laiba Gulzar of class 2021, The Lyceum. An important advice for me and for everyone, we must be positive. Genius. Who is genius? The one who follows this equation. Worldly knowledge plus religious knowledge plus rightful actions according to each is equal to genius. Have a good balance in life. Work for both the life of this world and the life of Akhira. List of important questions of AP. These are some important questions from my book. P1 series. At O level, you learn that a number sequence is a list of numbers and the numbers in this sequence are called the terms of the sequence. This is the number sequence. These numbers in the sequence are called the terms of the sequence. Arithmetic progression or AP. A sequence which has a common difference or constant amount D is known as an AP. A linear sequence such as 5, 8, 11, 14 and so on is also called an AP. Each term differs from the term before it by a constant. This constant is called the common difference D. C. This difference is 3. This is also 3. When the difference is constant, then the sequence is known as AP or arithmetic progression. For example, this is an AP because the difference is constant. 11 minus 1 makes 10, 21 minus 11 makes 10 and so on. Common difference is 10 of this sequence. Common difference can be negative as well. So 10 minus 20 makes minus 10, 0 minus 10 makes minus 10, minus 30 minus 20 makes minus 10. So the common difference of this sequence is negative 10. Common difference D. The common difference is allowed to be 0 or negative. For example, in this sequence, common difference is negative. 6 minus 10 makes minus 4. For this sequence, common difference is 0. D is the difference of any two consecutive terms. If you take difference of these two, you will get minus 4. So T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2, T10 minus T9, any two consecutive terms. The difference of any two consecutive terms will give you D. Note, for three consecutive terms, for example T1, T2 and T3, always use this formula for D or for the values of unknown. This formula is very important and we use it when we have three consecutive terms of the given AP. Any three consecutive terms. The even and odd number sequences are both in AP, are both arithmetic progressions because difference is constant. This difference is 2, this difference is 2. So this is the sequence of even numbers, so this sequence is AP. This is also an AP because difference is constant. The sequence of odd numbers. Multiples. The multiples of any number sequence is an AP. For example, multiples of 5, 20, 25, 30. These are multiples of 5. Their difference is always constant, which is 5. 
the notations used for ap's are a this means the first term small d means common difference or constant amount small l means the last term of the sequence capital s small n means sum of all or sum of n terms you can use the word all all means n tn means the nth term small n means number of terms and remember n is always positive the structure of an ap this is very important to solve questions of ap the first five terms of an ap are a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d see this thing the coefficient of d and the term number the term is 5 and coefficient is one less here the term is 4 and the coefficient is one less so if i ask you write down the term t10 then you should write a plus 9d because this number is one less with respect to this number so with the help of this structure we can find we can form the n term formula of ap the formula is tn a plus n minus 1d the nth term of an ap this is the formula for the n term of an ap if we need the 12th term then according to this formula this should be a plus 11d this is here if we need t100 a plus 99d the sum of an ap when the terms in a sequence are added together we call the resulting sum a series this is an arithmetic series because we added the terms and we can get the sum of this uh, this series with the help of this formula this is small n let me correct these things this is small n small n small n minus 1 so formula of ap nth term the nth term formula is this A plus n minus one d. Last term formula, L. L is, means the last term. Same formula is here. Just need to replace t n by L. If you are working for the last term, then replace t n by L, and the formula is same. S n. We have two formulas for S n. The first formula is n upon two bracket two a n minus one d bracket, and the second formula is n upon two a plus L. we use uh, these two formula according to given situations tn if you find if you need tn you just need to what if you need t4 you need to subtract these two s4 minus s3 see if you need t4 then you should subtract these two this is s uh, you need to s3 you need s4 if you subtract these two then you will get t4 so this relation is very important so if you need tn with the help of sn formula you can do this in this way sn sn minus 1 according to this relation and d means difference of any two consecutive terms any two consecutive it could be t9 minus t8 and this formula is very important use this formula when three consecutive terms are given note if a circle is divided into n sectors in a way that angles are in ap then sn will be 360 degrees or 2 pi in radians you have to learn this thing 
if we have n sectors and if angles are in AP then the sum of all the sectors angles of all the sectors must be 316 degrees and 2 pi in radians. In an AP the sum of the first 10 terms is 400 let's suppose this is 400 and the sum of the next 15 next 15 means this is 1000 so from here to here this will be 1400 s10 is 400 s25 will be s10 plus next 15 so 1400 so make sure you understand this thing you need to add these two to get s25 first 10 plus next 15 means s25 some important questions